Hello ladies! Well, I am testing out a new product for you guys and if I love it, we're bringing it into our shop. So if you're seeing this video, more than likely it's ready and we're going to have it for sale. So we have this new U Bronze Self Tanning Mousse. It will come with a mitt as well. Um, I know I am a fairly fair skinned and I feel so much more confident with a little bit of a, a, little bit of a tan. Um, so I tr I've tried several um, tanning products and there's some that I really love and there's some that I really don't. So I wanted to make sure to test this one out for you, show you guys how to apply it, and I'll show you my results as well. So like I said, you're going to get the tanning mousse and a mitt. Um, always easier to put on tanning solution with a mitt as well. So your tanning mousse will come like this. Um, nice bottle of tanning mousse. It is a foaming tanning. So usually when I first get it, I shake it up just to make sure it's nice and mixed, um, all the color, and then your mitt as well. Um, super soft mitt. So when you're tanning, make sure you shower, exfoliate. Um, if you're extra, extra dry, you can put lotion on like your knees and your ankles and your wrists, things like that, that or your elbows <laughs> that um, have the more dry skin. But otherwise, if you're clean, you're exfoliated, you're ready to go, um, shake up your tanner. And I always do my hands last because I'm constantly putting them in the mitt. Sometimes I'll use a makeup brush to do my hand, um, but I'll show you how I do it here. So I almost always start with my dominant hand just to get the majority of it done with my dominant hand. And then I go from there with my less dominant hand. So um, during the winter time and times where I'm not gonna wear a swimsuit, I totally don't mind doing just my legs and my arms and my neck. Um, as it gets closer to summer where I'm wearing more swimsuits and tanks and things, then I will just tan um, with a bra or without a bra and tan my whole body. Um, but obviously for video purposes, <laughs> I will be tanning in a tank and some biker shorts. So take your um, mousse once it's shaken up and brand new. It's gonna take a couple pumps to get it going. But this is what it looks like on the mitt. Um, that's normal. <laughs> Um, so I always start, again, your knees, your ankles, and your elbows are going to look a lot darker if you start there. So I always avoid those areas until most of it is off of my mitt and then um, go there last. One thing I'm noticing first off, this one smells really good. Sometimes tanning stuff doesn't smell very good. Um, but I always start like on my thighs or on my calves and you just rub it all around. The mitt helps to get it everywhere but see how I'm avoiding my kneecaps there you always make sure to just get the full surface um, and that's my first pass there I'll go I'll come down the sides of my knees but I won't ever do my kneecaps until the very end so at that point it's nice and dry again add some more and again don't start on the knees start in the middle of your leg I'll go behind my knee, but not on my kneecap yet. All the way around in the back. Um, see how I haven't got my kneecap yet? So my kneecap and my foot, I just use whatever's left on here. So at this point, I'll go over my kneecap, but I'm not getting a ton of product on it. Same with my foot and my ankle. Um, I've done this several times, and I <laughs> first couple of times I totally missed back here. So just make sure you're getting all the areas kind of in between the toes, around your ankle bones, all over. But the knees and your foot, you just want to get whatever's left on your mitt. So there's still a little bit of product on there, but it's not tons of product. So at that point, your leg is done. Um, I have had tanning solutions before where if I go back after the fact, it gets a little messy. So I always just do one really good pass and then don't touch it again okay so leg one is done uh, first thing I noticed about this one I have some that are like super super dark first putting them on this one I can see a little bit of color but it's not crazy dark going on so we'll see how it develops throughout the next couple of hours as well same thing on the other leg start off with your thigh Back of your leg. And grab 
grab some more, head down to your calves. Again, avoid those knees until the very end. Yeah, I really like the smell of this one. It's very kind of tropical. Getting all the little corners of your feet. And then coming back for that kneecap. Okay, so legs are done at that point. Just wait for them to dry. Don't get dressed until they're nice and dry. Um, generally, I'll try to wear looser clothing throughout that day um, so that it's not affected too much. Then we go to our arms. So again, oops, I forgot to take my rings off. Um, so again, for your arms, avoid those elbows first and come back to those elbows at the end. So start on my forearm here. Same with your hands. Your hands are also going to be darker. So I wait till the end for hands as well. All around your shoulder. So yeah, like winter, spring, I guess winter months, um, I don't mind just getting around my tank line here. Obviously in the summer, depending on what you're wearing, you wanna get a little bit more coverage, so. Okay, so arm is done. Then I do that pass around the elbow. And that arm is ready to go. And then I'll come back and do my hand in a little bit. If you don't tan your hands at all, you will notice later on. Okay, so now, next arm. Start on the bulk of your arm, avoiding that elbow. I do love how it smells, I love how it feels. It's not super tacky. Sometimes they're really, really tacky. Um, I'm liking it. It's not super dark. Some of them have a lot of bronzer in them to where they're super dark just going on. So I will be interested to see how this one develops throughout the day. Um, so then the neck area, always wanna get collarbone, chest. Um, this one, if you've got bony collarbones like me, Make sure to get like all in and around and then back of your neck and I come right up to my chin. I generally do not do my face. I just put a little bit darker makeup on. Um, my foundation I'll go up one. Um, so I've already put a little bit different color on today just to compensate. Just make sure it's all nice and smooth. All the way up to my hairline. Okay, so now we have arms, legs, chest, and a little bit of my back there. I can always do most of my body except for that little square in the back. Um, I do have a back uh, mitt, a back thing that I can use, or I'll just have my husband do that little square right there. So at this point, we wanna do my hands. Um, you can either do it with the mitt, whatever's left on it, or sometimes I'll take a makeup brush and just dip it in and do it lightly. But I can still feel product on the mitt, so I'm just gonna come down my hands here, just the back of the hands, you don't wanna do the palm of the hands, and make sure you get in between your fingers here. One time I forgot that too, and I have white in between my fingers. Bend them a little bit, get inside your knuckles. All the little places I always forget. Around the sides, but not on the palm there. And then, same thing on the other one. Not as much product on that side because you just want that really light layer on your hands, not a thick layer. Okay, so at that point, um, I personally won't wash my mitt with tan around my hands. I'll either have my husband do it, or I will set it aside for later, and you can wash it out later, but just soap and water will wash that out. Um, so at this point, all the tanner is on. Like I said, don't wear super tight clothing on top of this until it dries fully. Um, 
So like my legs are a tiny bit tacky and then my arms obviously are very fresh. If I do need to put on clothes right away, sometimes I'll take like powder and a makeup brush and just powder um, on the main problem areas there where it gets tacky and then I'll put my clothes on and go about my day. Um, so I'll come back a little bit later on and do a progress picture of the development of the tan. And then you wanna keep this tanner I think says six to eight hours. A lot of times I'll just wear it the rest of the day and sleep on it and then wake up in the morning and shower it off. Um, so we'll see how this one goes, but I'll put a progress picture after and maybe I'll pop in a little bit later to show um, how it's progressed as well. But already I have a tiny bit of color just with that bronzer and then I'm interested to see how it goes from there. So any questions, let me know. Uh, we will have these available in the shop as well and I hope you guys love them. All right, ladies, I'm back. This has been six, seven hours. Um, you can tell a couple shades darker here. I don't get super, super tan because I start off so pale. You do change a couple skin tones. Um, I just love having a little bit of color going into spring and summer. I don't um, do well out in the sun. I just burn and then I don't tan. So having this on this tanner is perfect for me. And if you want some, come snack some.